Okay, here we are once again. This is the second post commentary part. Yeah, so it's exactly the same as the first, but different video, of course. I mean, yeah, same problems. No game audio, no, no voice, no mic audio. So here I am talking about the gameplay. I'm not going to explain it no more. If you want to know why this is happening, and watch the last part. Anyway, we get this cool cutscene with the Saddler. Sadler, Sadler. Um, he says like, "Oh, yeah, well, blah blah blah. You can't. You could resist, but you can't not. You can't disobey." Um, so he like stops us from coming at him and stabbing him. I guess. Well, I don't. We just pull a fucking gun. But instead, he runs at him. Like, okay. Also, the Sadler is like looking really old and shit, and he is old. Uh, and then she like takes control of Ashley, and we lose her again. Think goodness holy shit I, and okay here I'm gonna try to like reenact like a fucking funny part from this the video that I, I uh, it's too bad that we had, we had to get to, I had to miss out on this but I was like when he threw that on her I was like bomb 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 blow up blow up blow up blow up it was so good it was so good man it was so good <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny I was like do we get to kill her do we get to kill her we're gonna have to fight her, and then it's like, oh, please blow up, mine, mine, bomb, 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 blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up, you know. I was hoping she would explode, but I guess that's just a tracker. And then when you're like, oh, Ashley, I'm coming for you and stuff. And like, yeah, it's just so you like, I wish there were subtitles so you could read that, but hey, you're just gonna have to play it for yourself or look it up. <laughs> Hey, I got my chin on my fucking mic just for you guys. I don't know. I did that for some reason. I'll lick. Uh, I was gonna lick the mic. Okay. <laughs> there. Oh, weird. Gross. Ew. What the hell. I don't know. I'm bored. <laughs> this post commentaries are boring. Why do you think people don't do them? <laughs> sniff. I sniff the mic just for you. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, I don't know, man. I'm fucking. I'm fucked up. I'm probably not. I'm just. I don't know. That made no sense. Anyway, what what was that even? Because the agent we lost. Oh yeah, I actually read this too. But you can read it now. I'm not gonna read it now. Uh, yeah, he's sad. Yeah, so we killed that guy in the background there, and he's probably all mad that we killed him. Yeah, we didn't. We're not gonna swear the alliance to him, man. We're he's so done. This stupid motherfucker's going down. I know he's like a boss. If not, I'm pretty sure he's going to be the final boss, right? The stamps. I talked about how the Steam achievements. I think it was right here. The Steam achievements freaking spoil boss fights and characters. Even if you don't play the game and you look at the achievements, like this guy was spoiled, and as a boss as well, we're gonna kill him. Oh, and there's a really frustrating part with him coming right up, which I actually thought I had some pretty funny reactions to, since it was the first time, and I was pretty frustrated with it, and it was like kind of on edge, trying to, it, it's basically a quick time event central. But here we go. Here we go. What, what room is that even? Are we going to be able to see that room eventually? I don't know, but he's coming up right right here. I think, right? Sorry for yawning. I yawned quite a bit in the last video as well. Not in the original video, I'm just talking about the last video with the boss commentary. So we got some herbs and shit, and I think we actually fight some enemies and stuff before we get to that guy. Which we don't fight him as a boss yet, but... We get some quick time event bullshit with them. So I get to slash this guy to death. And I actually slashed another one, but he popped out with tentacles, which are like excruciatingly, were excruciatingly hard to um, kill. I think it was this one. Yeah. I got better at kicking. I noticed that I could start him in the kick and then slash him to death, so I've at least learned that much. 
finally, near the end of the game, I'm finally learning how to actually play it. <laughs> anyway, he's dead. And then these guys just really are difficult. Like, they just don't die. I know TMP probably would have been good. Flash grenades would be also recommended. I don't know. Next time I'll see if I have flash grenades. But yeah, th those are frustrating. I don't know if I should get another rocket launcher before, like, another boss fight. But I don't think so. I don't have enough money for that. I think I'll I think I'll live without using another rocket launcher since those are pretty much been instant instant kill. And from what I see, those are instant kills to like almost pretty much every boss. So that's kind of cheap. So I think I'm done with the rocket launchers for the rest of the game, unless there's something specific I need it for, like it's required or something. Um, yeah. I won't do it. I'm not gonna buy it. Plus, I don't have enough money. I need to like tune up my shotgun to get it back up to 8.0 damage, and then I have the magnum. But the magnum is limited in ammo. But it's up to 20, so I think 20 base damage is fine. Anyway, I figured out that I just came into the. There's these small rooms with like nothing in them, or like one or two things in them. And it's kind of like, what? Oh, I meant to go back and jump out this window just for fun of it. Well, to see if you could, I don't know. Maybe you couldn't. I think I was just seeing you. You could open that door. Anyway, this video is 17 minutes and 23 seconds. Just if you're curious. Usually I don't know. Actually, I never know until it's over because I'm recording it live. But now I know because I recorded already and I looked I never know unless I look and by that I mean I actually do know because there's a timer with action I use action to record if anyone's wondering I use action to uh, gameplay recorder or whatever it's on PC it's 30 bucks or something it's a really good deal it, it records very smooth um, I don't know if fraps is better or not but I heard this was better and I like this a lot. I don't know if Raps may be better. It probably is. I don't know. Shit. But I've enjoyed action. There's been some problems, but I really do enjoy it. I think it works fine. I do have to export stuff, though. Every time I upload. I don't know. If someone wants to explain details of Raps to me, that'd be great. But the point is, I love action. It's pretty nice. I've enjoyed it. There's definitely been some issues and some things that are like, what the fuck? But... It's, it's a good gameplay recorder and desktop recorder as well. I mainly add it for desktop recording for um, my laptop with Project 64. I was doing Conquer and Super Mario 64. And what else did I do? I don't know. I was just doing stuff like that. Matter of fact, was that like... What the hell was I doing? Like that was most of my gameplays was like emanators or something like minecraft as well but my laptop was not capable but now we're getting into fun games this will be it just every pc game should be able to record now 60 frames though I'm, I'm, I'm thinking i'm just gonna be recording in like 7 20 30 for like especially like modern games that are gonna push my computer and see like i was not ready for that you know and i actually heard a lot about this this character and this, uh, you know, encountering him, I, I heard that there's like this specific moment in the game was like a big issue for people like that review this game or like that like this game. They point this out as a huge issue that there's just random uh, quick time events in this cutscene. Yeah, so now I was ready though, and I was looking. I was on. I was like intense. Like I was. It was intense. I was on edge, looking, waiting for the goddamn button commands, and it switched from L and R to uh, A and X there. And it was for pretty much every other one until there was button mashing as well, which pissed me off. Like fuck, that <laughs> was pretty good. I thought it was just you know it's funner to hear me go through it the first time, but whatever. It is what it is. Oh yeah, here we find out like he kidnapped Ashley and he was only doing it to get like this respect of the saddler or like some type of maybe it was money or 
I don't know. There was something I forget exactly why he did it, but it was for the Saddler, and I forget what it was, why it was for the Saddler, but it was for the Saddler for some reason. And whether it was money or like the cure or something, maybe he got in fact, I don't know. Uh, but then and they're like, oh yeah, died in a car crash, blah blah blah, because apparently he died before in a past game because Leon was in Resident Evil 2 uh, as the first appearance, so. Um, yeah, he was like, oh, yeah, blah, 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 is that what they told you? And, like, yeah, so, yeah, they reunited now. They were, like, comrades and shit, and they were, they were on the police force or something together, I guess. From what I've picked up so far. But, yeah, we do kill him in here, though, because I know he's a boss, because, again, I talked about the Steam, um, achievement spoiling. Uh, and then here's the button mashing. I was like, oh shit, 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 shit. And then they changed it like, fuck. But yeah, okay, so he loses his knife. Oh, also, actually, she shoots it out, I guess. Okay, so if she wasn't there, we probably would be dead. Or we would have had like 20 more quick time events to go through. <laughs> and he's like, oh, bitch in the red dress. So. I remember certain parts from it. See, this is why I would have forgotten some of this shit if I just slept on this. So I'm glad I just did this fresh. And then I was like, I was sitting here like, oh, do we get an upgrade a knife now? But I don't know. I actually didn't check. And I don't know if he takes that or what he does. But whatever. We get to talk to the Saddler. And here's some subtitles. And he did, yeah, of course he did, Leon. Wonderful. Oh, just the banter, man. So cool. So good. He has an idea. Since you're... Okay, since you're here, why don't... He's going to introduce us to it. And now what it is, is I don't fucking know. <laughs> I'm talking like I know. I have no fucking clue. But I don't like the sounds of it. I bet it's terrible. I bet it is terrible, literally. One of my leafy, no, I'm just kidding. But seriously, it's going to be bad. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's going to suck. And I was saying that in the video, like, oh, shit, it's going to suck. And I was sitting here, like, I was coming back up here, like, I didn't realize that we fell down there. But then I did now. And so here I go jumping back down. And then, uh, the video is actually almost going to be over by the time I, uh, get to the next Merchant and Save Point, which is coming up. So then the video will finally be over, and we'll finally be able to move on to, um, you know, not having, I don't know, I lost track my train of thought, not having post commentary anyway this is a really cool section right here dodging lasers especially when it gets to the quick time event dodging gets really bad like Leon is seriously a fucking badass check this shit out not not now I mean pff, this is like whatever okay you walk through it and this boom badass but it gets better it gets way better okay this is cool that is amazing back flipping that oh my that was just like perfect dude you got so lucky and this this is epic watch what this motherfucker does he runs up a motherfucking wall and backflips over them isn't that just some something else dude this guy he fucking runs up a wall just, just just in that small space he literally just runs up that wall and backs flips off through the ceiling grazes the ceiling and flips over all those lasers is that not the most cool thing ever and then you get this cool shot of him being king or the saddler or something oh i'm the saddler i was talking about but anyway yeah, you get that cute thing and i see the treasure there which i saw at the merchant coming up But yeah, I really enjoyed that room back there. That was really... The lasers were cool. Could have been harder. But 
I'm not complaining. I don't like when things get ridiculously hard and stupid. Alright, so you'll never hear my voice all, like, you'll never hear my tongue and my mouth and my saliva ever again this up close. But for these two videos, you do. So, and also my breathing. I'm so sorry. I just, like, ex exhaled into the mic. <laughs> Heavy breathing. Not really. I just, like, breathed through my nose and it was like, <laughs> Anyway, post commentary can be kind of fun though, but I'm definitely ready to go back to my good old live commentary because it's all also just live commentary is so much better. I hate post commentary. It can be done good, but post commentary, man, usually just it's not as fun to listen to or watch. So that's what I will say. Maybe like post commentary, just like slipped in there like edited it in for whatever reason you know if there's like a specific reason but having the whole video be post commentary sucks it's always worse in my opinion because it's just less entertaining and i was literally thinking about just uploading it m completely muted like whatever but eh, at least you get a little bit of idea of what i was reacting to and i can f I, I filled you guys in a little bit on the cutscenes and stuff if you didn't know and didn't want to go watch or play it or whatever, or you haven't played it prior, so even though this is my, my, I I'm not a walkthrough channel. I I'm here for like you can watch me play and watch me suck and watch me get mad or kick ass or something or anything in between. Like you can find it kind of entertaining or not or whatever. I don't know. That I don't I don't walk I don't do walkthroughs, but also I I do you know it's a game so you can it's a video on a game. Anyway, this video is about to be over in like twenty seconds. I look at the map one more time and check out what we have left. I'm like speculating boss fights and stuff, just random end video shit. And then we finally sign off now. So see you, bye.